Welcome back, boys and girls. Have you ever been in Time Out? Today we're going to read a book whose narrator is a little girl, she tells the story, who unsurprisingly is in Time Out. But she doesn't think she should be because things could be a lot worse if she were a lion. The title of the book is If I Were a Lion. It's a wonderful rhyming story by Sarah Weeks. I'm sitting in the time up chair because my mother put me there. She said, you try my patience, child. I do not like it when you're wild. Wild? Who, me? That's so absurd. How could she even use that word? If I were a lion, I'd growl and roar and knock the dishes on the floor. I'd scare the hair right off the cat, but do you see me doing that? If I were a bear, I'd have big claws. I'd rip up pillows with my paws. I'd scratch and poke and pierce and tear, not sit here nicely in my chair. Am I howling? Do I bark? Rummage through the trash at dark? Greet my visitors like this? No, not me. I hug and kiss. Do I snarl? Do I snap? Climb a tree to take a nap? Look at me. I'm meek and mild. About a million miles from wild. Wild is wooly. Wild is wet. Wild is as naughty as you get. Wild's ferocious. Wild will bite. I'm precautious and polite. Wild has feathers. Wild has scales. Wild has whiskers, tusks, and tails. Wild is furry. Wild is strong. Wild does not know right from wrong. Mother doesn't realize that lions don't apologize. But when she does, then she will see the opposite of wild is me. The end. What do you think, boys and girls? Is the little girl wild? Are you wild? Can you name some of the animals that you saw in the story? Are they wild? Well, after all, they are animals. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope that you will not be in time out anytime soon. See you next time. Bye.